My name's Michael Wayne. I want to do a little old documentary on hunting mature whitetails. took up this sport, which has more, become more of a hobby than anything. Going and killing a deer nowadays is like going to the grocery store. You can kill one anytime you get ready. But when you challenge yourself to hunt mature whitetails, point out one in particular whitetail, and walk, let many other whitetails walk before you actually get the opportunity to take the one that you've put on your hit list. I've been hunting about 25, 30 years now. And I was like everybody else. I shot my share of year and a half old deer. And I just hanging around friends and whatnot that deer hunted. I took on the, I took on the sport with them. And nowadays, I probably don't hunt but with one guy and he's my best friend, Tracy Pennell. And he's the one that, uh, me and him's like tit for tat. Maybe one day I can get him out and get get him to bring some of his deer out of the house and uh, show them off because he's, he's got a wall full of big Georgia deer himself. Proud to call him my friend. I've probably killed somewhere around 150, 200 bucks in my life. The one I'm most proud of is the one I took this past season. It was my, it was my oldest buck and my highest scoring buck. And I had 14 deer up under my stand that night, six does and the rest of them were bucks. And I walked some mighty good deer before he showed himself and didn't make what I thought was the best shot on him. So we backed out that night and came back the next morning. Me and Tracy went down there. Deer didn't go 65 yards. Deer was probably somewhere 230 pounds on the hoof, eight and a half year old animal, 14 scoreable points. I hunt Morgan County, Walton County, Oconee County, and I've killed a few deer in Tolliver County and Jackson County, but mainly Oconee, Morgan, and Walton. I've hunted with the Remington 700 BDL sub mag with Leopold scope mounted on top, and it's it's been a trusty gun. I've hunted with it for since ninety. I want to say 92, 93. I recommend that everybody hunts with the gun that they feel most comfortable with. I've got a couple new guns that I'm gonna hunt with this year. Got a 270 short mag, Tika, and uh, a 308 Remington 700. And got the scope on the Remington, and got to put me a new scope on my Tika. But I've, I enjoy it. It's a peace of mind when you get out of the office and get to not have to hear the phone ring and get a little peace and quiet. The third week of October is when rifle season comes in. Used to do some bow hunting, but it's got just about like it is right now. It's too hot to bow hunt. I have, when the, when the rut comes in, I'll spend, I have spent from daylight to dark if I know my bucks are on their feet and moving, because during the rut, you can you could have a buck come anywhere from eight to 10 miles away and come through your property if the right does at the right time, and it could present a buck of a lifetime. 
I always say that the trophy's in the eye of the beholder. If it's a year and a half old six pointer or a six and a half year old 14 pointer, don't ever let nobody tell you any different because hunt for the reason that you want to hunt. Don't compete with somebody else unless you just you and your buddy and y'all on the same wavelength far as uh, hunting mature animals. Well, each one of these deer, I can tell you each story, weather condition and everything in each county <coughs> and the whole nine yards on it. This in particular deer right here is a four and a half year old nine pointer that come out of Morgan County. Got a little kicker point right here. Some people would have called him a 10, but uh, I killed him the first day I set up on him six years ago. It was uh, October the, the 27th. Killed him about 9.30 that morning. He come following a big doe down the fence line, stopped approximately 30 yards up under right of my stand, shot him high in the back, and that was the end of that hunt. Extremely big body deer. Buddy of mine that I play golf with owns the property, Buddy Bearden, and he lets me hunt the property. And then I've got this deer right here. It's a thick mainframe eight pointer, a lot of mass. Killed him in Oconee. Uh, sitting in the stand about 8.30 one morning. Two does come from my right to my left. And about an hour later, he come up out of the bottom, got on that doe trail, evidently one of them was hot. And I hit him with a few grunts with the true talker. He turned and come back and I made a shot on him at about, a, about 90, 85, 90 yards. And here he is today. Here's a, another Oconee County deer. He was 20 inches wide, mainframe 10 pointer. And once I aged him, I sort of wished that I could have given him another year, find out the deer wasn't but three and a half years old. But uh, still a trophy and very proud of him. This in particular deer right here was killed in Tolliver County. Me and my cousin Jerome was down there hunting, was doing an all day hunt. And been in the stand all day, seen multiple bucks and a uh, buttload of does, and at 5.15 that evening, he came out, give me about a 60 yard shot on him. Not a high scoring deer, but a uh, pretty rack. This in particular deer right here, good buddy of mine, Scott Wilkins, <coughs> him and I have always talked about going out of state and doing a, a paid hunt, and went to Wisconsin. Deer had 15 scoreable points, weighed about 270 pounds. Did, let's just say I did the hunt one time on a paid hunt. It wasn't the same adrenaline rush and same feel as hunting the local Georgia deer. Now this deer right here, another 10 pointer, came from Oconee, uh, had a big nine pointer, and he was three and a half. And, the deer down there don't have very wide racks, but they're tall, real tall and real symmetrical. Deer actually scores more than he looks like he does. He's in the, in the one, high 130s. Then this in particular eight pointer right here, I videoed him in my cousin Jerome. Videoed him in over here in Oconee County, and I videoed him in velvet. And the wind was blowing about 30 mile an hour about the 12th of November. And I was, it done got to be about 10 o'clock in the morning and I got ready to get down. And I seen a smaller eight pointer come down there and this buck here was pushing him off the, out of the area right there. I made a good shot on him. Probably one of the biggest body deer for his length and legs, extremely long and tall deer. Then this is one of the first deer that I ever had mounted. 
killed him in Jackson County, hunting with a friend of mine, Scott. And not a high scoring deer, but all of us has got to start somewhere. But I've got one of my biggest deer that I've killed, and I killed him in Morgan County. The deer had 14 scoreable points, split eye guards, kickers off the base, kickers off the G2. This in particular tine right here, 13 and a half inches long. Average tine was over 11. Deer scored 165 and two eighths. Six inches in mass where it come out of his head. Deer was eight and a half years old. This is the deer that I was in reference to earlier in the conversation when I was talking about that I had 14 deer under my stand that night. And I had a couple deer, one in particular eight pointer that would probably score in the low 130s. Then had f about five or six encounters with him. But he wasn't the deer that I was had on the target hit list. And I wasn't gonna be satisfied with nothing but this in particular deer. And I killed him on October the 28th uh, on a Friday afternoon. About the only time you can hunt that stand and it be productive is on a west or southwest wind. And I'll be the first to tell anybody if you got a good stand, don't hunt it unless you got a good wind to hunt the stand. If you go in there and hunt that stand and the wind's not good for where the deer's coming from or the bedding areas, you can, you can, a uh, mature deer like this, he will not tolerate uh, being pushed around and stinking up his, his bedroom because if you do, he'll either do one or two things. He'll go nocturnal on you or he'll leave the area. And to have an opportunity to hunt a deer like this in the state of Georgia, maybe once in a lifetime. Extremely proud of it. When I shot this deer, like I said, I, I didn't actually have my white, I had my green headlamp. I didn't have a, a white light. And when I shot him, he took off. I thought he ran down the old fence line. And when I got down, I couldn't find any blood immediately. So I made a call to my best friend, Tracy, and I told him I had, I had shot the deer. And he immediately wanted, wanted to know if I wanted to try to find him. And I told him we're just gonna wait till in the morning. And any of the wise hunters will tell you, if you in doubt, back out. Come back in there and uh, give yourself the best opportunity when you got daylight. And especially when you're hunting private land and you don't have to worry about anybody else uh, recovering your deer overnight. And just extremely proud to, to have good friends and to share some of this stuff with. Because my buddy Tracy, me and him, we do a we do a lot of hunting, we enjoy it, we laugh, we have a good time. And we don't really compete against each other. I think I'm just as happy when he kills a deer as he is when that when I kill a deer. Like I've said to everybody, uh deer hunting is just like Fishing, life, anything else, you get out of it exactly what you put into it. If you go in there and shoot all your year and a half, two and a half year old deer, you'll never get the opportunity to watch an animal like this right here grow up. I had this deer, in particular deer right here, on camera for many months. And trail cameras can be your best friend or they can be your worst enemy. Go in there, use them, pay attention to the wind, pay attention where the deer are coming from. Just make sure, and don't shoot up all your ladies and don't shoot up all your, 
year and a half, two and a half year old deer. And it's hard to let a three or four year old deer walk. But when you do, this is the outcome. And just want to say thanks to everybody. And if you got any, any questions or whatnot, feel free to give us a holler. Y'all have a good day.